finishes in the most spectacular manner. Herbert Horkacz has been on a fast ascent in 2019. The 22 year old pole began the year outside the top 80, but a strong march has seen him rise up to a career best 52 in the ATP rankings. Adding to the dynamic is his new coach, Craig Boynton. We started working together just before India was. I think Craig's an amazing coach and uh, yeah, also, I mean, I'm lucky that I'm in this position right now. He's, uh, he's a breath of fresh air. He's uh, a young talent. Uh, he's good. He's very good. And there's uh, a lot of room for improvement. So for me, it was, uh, it was a no-brainer. Well, it was important when we first started working together that I went slowly. I needed to get to know him, he needed to get to know me. Looking back on it, it was just something that was, it was really day by day, hour by hour. Working in between the matches uh, on, on certain things that, that also helped a lot. And watching him play, I've always kind of have a motto that the matches will, will dictate what needs work. And uh, after each match, worked on a couple things. But to work on new things together for the first time at tournaments is really difficult but he was he was amazing at the information that we went over and he, he put it to work very quickly and, and it's just kind of one thing led to another and the snowball got a little bigger and a little bigger and a little bigger and it was just something that just kind of happened they've only been working together a short time but the two have quickly developed a mutual respect and admiration He's an incredible fighter and competitor. Every time there's a bad moment, he responds with a very good moment. So he's very resilient. And, uh, the way that he's uh, talking to me on the, on the practice court. So you can play aggressive on that one, or you can play safe with a cutter, but from way back there, you still have to hit up on it. Yeah. Okay? There you go, good. To what he's doing there, I mean, he, he tries to adapt and uh, talk uh, in the way that I want, I want uh, to communicate with him. So, I mean, this is, this is really special about him. And also, I mean, the, yeah, the things that he's talking, that they are making the difference, so. <laughs> go, go, go. That's it. Nice. Good. From that ball, you can go either way depending on which one's the weaker side, okay? It's just a matter of being prepared, having a clear plan of what you're trying to accomplish. Uh, and that changes from player to player, from surface to surface. That's it, okay. That's the one a little bit softer on that one, okay? Good. Center the ball. Good. Stay down, center the ball. Good. After his recent breakthrough, Holbert believes he isn't far from another jump up the rankings. You can gain a lot of confidence by just winning a couple of, couple of matches. I mean, just one tournament can, can change everything in tennis. When I look at Hubie and, and I see the full potential in my head in terms of him clicking on, on all cylinders, physically, mentally, emotionally. The number next to him isn't going to surprise me if it gets to some, some rarefied air numbers. So uh, I, I'm really, really uh, excited um, to work with him and help him maximize his potential um, and see, let's see where we can go. Next week on ATP Uncovered, the best of the action as the clay court swing begins in Houston and Marrakesh. And Japan's Kei Nishikori reflects on a fight back from injury that helped him reach the final in Monte Carlo last year. Don't forget to log on to atptour.com and chat with us on Facebook, Twitter and Instagram. See you next week.